This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, we got some quick stories. NFL approval process for Tom Brady's proposed purchase of minority ownership stake in the Las Vegas Raiders has reached a stop. They said uh, isn't due due to the reservations. Uh, this is part due to the reservations regarding 70% price reduction that Mark Davis is giving Brady. Um, they said other owners won't approve of it, all this other stuff. Yeah. You know, they just don't want a part of the organization, maybe. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, hopefully he does get to own. I mean, that would be pretty big. Then we got Youngberg and uh, Tink. He says it was embarrassing their breakup publicly. Well, you probably embarrassed her too, bro. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, little Yachty wants Nicki Minaj to unblock him. He pleads with her. He says he's a big fan and wants her to unblock him immediately. But, you know, why did she block him in the first place? I think she misinterpreted something he said or something. something. But uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. She's She was removed from all the dogs. She's mad. And might blame you because you're affiliated with Drake now. Mary J. Blige says Dame Dash gave her 10K in a brown paper bag. For can't knock the hustle while she was hooked on drugs and alcohol. Bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. You can't, you can't, that's that's crazy, bro. Um, is Dame Dash a bad person for that? I don't know. Maybe she just accepted a lower price because she was she needed the cash. Kanye West has filed 26 new trademarks applications for the term use. I guess he's going to come out with a new shoe called use. So Jeezy unfollows Jen and Mai. They're definitely not living together. That was a rumor. Um, I don't know, man. You know, this is over. Jeezy doesn't want to go back to this. I mean, you know, once you've escaped. Once you've experienced enough in life and you've had bad situations, you can recognize a bad situation. You get away, get out of it as fast as possible because it's draining. It takes everything out of you. Um, T Grizzly drops a new song with Finesse two times. Soldier Boy's assets to be seized to pay off 500k debt, so he's gonna have to give up a few cars, and he probably doesn't own the cars outright, so he's gonna probably have to give up a few of them to raise the cash. They can't take a house because he 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 pays rent. So they'll probably take cars first and then go from there. Christian Rock shares the baby after post surgery. Okay. Um, then Jake Paul, I mean Logan Paul and Jake Paul do a podcast, and Logan Paul says, you know, Dylan's gonna pay. I uh, 400k in legal fees just to defend himself because you know Dylan has been releasing you know tons of stuff against him and his uh, fiance who Dylan's been with before and she's been with many other guys but um, he's been releasing like she he says it's like you know uh, took away brand deals and stuff like that for her and there's damage Logan Paul. And Dylan's fight was supposed to be on October 14th, but I think Dylan pulled out. Logan says, don't let Dylan fool you. He knows that pulling out again won't guarantee, uh, would guarantee no fighter, fight organization, or legit brand would ever work with him, uh, him because he's an unreliable liar. Not to mention the embarrassment of uh, peeing out on me, you know, <laughs> being a cat, basically. I'm going to break this predator physically, mentally, and spiritually, and financially. This, is, uh, this isn't about winning the fight. This is about destroying his entire life. But truthfully, I don't care who shows up October 14th. The man across from me will get knocked out cold. Dylan pulled out. Um, Logan Paul calling someone else a predator is funny because this guy is a piece of crap, bro. <laughs> this guy filmed someone that had just taken their life in Japan. Uh, there's nothing good about this guy. Uh, but he pretends to be good. A lot of people pretend to be good. But he is a hustler. I'll give him that. Just made it work. Little Tay claims her father swatted her at her house and all this other stuff. And she's just keeping this going. But nah, you know, nobody's going to care in about six months, Little Tay. You're back for a moment. 
And then Diddy reportedly countersued by alcohol company Diageo for allegedly using racism claims to extort the company of $100 million in COVID relief funds. Oh, I believe this. This makes sense. So, uh, because Diddy always only says he's black owned and guilts people into supporting him when he needs it. Yo, this is the last black owned company. You got to support me. That He guilts people into supporting him using something that would. He doesn't care about helping other people. He cares about helping himself and he'll use whatever. The British Business Portly has a countersuit against the mogul saying in May 2021, following Diageo's public commitment to $100 million to help with re- recovery in hospitals, sector, underprivileged communities, Diddy demanded Diageo pay him $100 million and threatened him to uh, threat then to reach out to every news outlet and burn the house down. Aside from that, Diddy even bragged about causing maximum damage to Diageo in Delion brand. Uh, by claiming uh, that they exercised racism in their business dealings with him. As previously reported, in May of this year, Diddy filed a lawsuit against Diageo for supposedly neglecting marketing promotions for their joint venture, De Leon. Let's see. Diageo has typecasted Ciroc and De Leon apparently deciding they were black brands that should be targeted only to the urban consumers. No, you did that, Diddy. You only gave it, you only uh, really promoted to rap and hip hop. You, you, you didn't try to uh, market it as a luxury brand. See, Jay-Z only markets his stuff as luxury even though it's mostly promoted in hip hop, he tries to add a luxury aspect to it. I don't know why Diddy is doing this, bro. He's blowing his, he could have been doing this for the next 10 years. I don't know, bro. I don't know why he needs a cash grab. So he's almost a billion, I don't know. You never know. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News.